Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Boy Grover back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about why we cannot trust tops absolutely for nothing anymore. Now, I'm going to explain to you why I think that and why you guys should be worried about the future of the integrity of sports cards as a whole. So let's get into it. So first, we have to announce the winner of last month's, or I guess the milestone giveaway, really. So the winner of the box of Bowman is H-Town Guy. Um, my brother picked you as the winner for the box of Bowman. I'm assuming why he picked you. Well, the, his comment my brother showed me was, your Don got robbed, which I 110% agree. And then he goes on to say that fan voting needs to be changed. And I 110% agree with everything this guy said. Number one, your Don should wait. Even if your Don was healthy, I think he should have started over Shohei Otani. I don't like the all-star fan voting because you know why? It's all a popularity contest. It's really not who has the best skill. It's more of a popularity contest. So I agree with H-Town Guy. And my brother probably picked you because my brother has a unhealthy obsession with Jordan Alvarez. He has like over 100 plus rookie cards of his. And I didn't believe in the hype at first, I'll be honest with you, in 2020. But it looks like your Don has shut me up, at least. And he looks like he's going to be a very good player for years to come. So H-Town Guy, make sure you follow me on Instagram or Twitter and DM me. And I'll hook you up with a box of Bowman. Now let's get into the next giveaway. So the next giveaway. And by the way, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who's watched the videos as of late. I didn't even announce the 4,000 subscriber giveaway yet. And we're already at... 3,200 subscribers like I didn't even get a chance to promote the new giveaway yet and I'm already 200 subscribers into the next school but anyways we're gonna get into it the next thing I'm gonna give away I don't have it on screen here because while well, they're not in retail yet I'm gonna give away a box of Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary so all you guys have to do to win a Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary Blaster Box because you're hitting retail this week so I'll have it be subscribed like this video, turn on post notifications, and here is the new rule for this milestone giveaway. Comment your favorite moment this far in the MLB that has happened. Um, my favorite moment probably has to be the O'Neill Cruz home run I witnessed in person like a week ago at PNC Park. That dude is a great player, and if you're in the area, even if you're not a Pirates fan, you need to go watch O'Neill Cruz play, I promise you. He is a going to be a generational talent. I've been saying this for months. So, with that out of the way, and the new giveaway rules and everything out of the way, let's get into the topic of today's video, which people are seemingly enjoying on my channel, because my two videos talking about this topic have apparently been on the trending page on YouTube, says a lot of people in my comment section. So, we're going to continue to talk about it. So, we're going to talk about why we can't trust tops anymore, and... You guys probably already know where I'm going with this. It shouldn't be no surprise to anybody that I have been bashing tops for months now. Ever since Fanatics has took over tops or taken over tops, I think in December of last year, I think it was, um, they have gone completely downhill. The integrity of that company has just gone downhill. Like it plummeted like a, like a stock. It just plummeted straight down. You know, and I've been calling it out for months. And a lot of people in my comment section that aren't subscribed to me, these are people that just find my channel and just comment BS. They say, why do you have to be so negative for this, that reason, this reason, that reason? Well, you guys are finally figuring out the reason why I've been so negative towards Tops all this time. It's things like this. We can't trust Tops anymore, and Panini for that matter. I mean, Panini's very scummy, don't get me wrong. Um, I've never liked Panini. I always think they're, I've always thought they're bad. I can't wait actually until basketball and football go back to tops in 2025. I think it is because we'll never see Panini ever again. Uh, as far as prism and everything like that, unless they do no logoed football or basketball cards, we'll never see Panini ever again. So unless, you know, I don't know whatever happens, but who knows what happens until now and then 2025. But you know, the whole fake autograph thing really should be an eye opener uh, to a lot of people out there who have sided with tops through thick and thin. You know, the non autographed situation or the fake autographed situation is a very scummy situation that 
probably has been going on for years at Tops, but no one has um really realized maybe till now. You know, um I think that like I said a couple videos ago, if it wasn't for my video and a couple others who made a video about this stuff, because if you combine the if you combine the total views out of everyone who made a video, it's like 50, 60, 70,000 views and like Tops really had no choice but to talk about this and bring it up in a uh, social media post in a, you know, a thread, right? I truly believe, and you guys can call me out on this or whatever. You can give, let me know what you think about this. If these videos and tweets never went viral and had a lot of people watching it and liking it and commenting on these tweets and videos, they would have never ever ever commented on the situation they would have tried to sweep this under the rug as if it never happened i know it because this that's what companies try to do no matter what the company is and if they get called out for something and they know about it because i guarantee you tops knew about this and they just put it in there anyways because you know why if they would have found out that those cards were fake one it would have lost them money because they would have had to have paid Meadows and a Rosarena anyways, just because they quote unquote signed the card. And two, they would have lost even more money because they would have taken the cards out of the product to replace them with new cards. So they would have lost money no matter what way you look at it if they didn't put the Rosarena and Meadows card in there because that would have halted production in some way, shape, or form. So I truly think that they knew about this and they just put it in there anyways. Someone had to have known about this. This didn't just fly under the radar and they could say they didn't know about it and they blame the event of 2020 and everything like that. I call absolute BS. That is just a cover up for what they truly knew and they knew this the entire time and they did it anyways. So we cannot trust tops for anything no more. This will put a stain on this company for years upon years upon years. And I said this in yesterday's video. How about if they faked the Mike Trout autograph or a Shohei Otani or an Aaron Judge autograph? How would people perceive or how would people look at that compared to maybe an Austin Meadows or an Rosarena autograph? Just because they're not the biggest of names doesn't mean we can't take this seriously. We should very well take this seriously because guess what? Just because it happened once, I guarantee you it happened multiple times. And like yesterday's video I talked about, the Acuna autograph, which is clearly faked, was found in Top Sterling this year. Who's to say there aren't other autographs that are faked? So we're going to have to just compare autographs and see which one are truly the autographs. We're going to have to see from now on who's really lying or telling the truth. So guys, let me know what you think about this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.